Hello and welcome to our introductory video series for GemPy version 3. Let's dive right into it. What is GemPy? GemPy is a Python-based open-source geomodeling library. It constructs complex 3D structural geologic models, including folded structures, fault networks and unconformities, using an implicit co-creating approach. For more details on the underlying mathematical concepts, please refer to the literature linked in the video description. To give you an idea of what a complex GemPy model can look like, check out this model. Are you new to GemPy? No worries. This video series will help you get started. We will publish a set of short videos over the next weeks that guide you through the process of creating a simple structural model in GemPy. Starting with the necessary input data and geological constraints, we will then compute the model and demonstrate how to access and visualize the results in both 2D and 3D. By the end of this series, you should understand the basic concepts underlying GemPy and be ready to start creating your own models. It is definitely helpful to know Python basics. Teaching those is not the aim of this series. Are you a GemPy veteran and are curious what makes version 3 special? The GemPy package was restructured. At its core, GemPy engine handles the computational work. Here we reduce GemPy's core dependencies to NumPy only. Furthermore, instead of Theano or Ezara, you can use PyTorch as an optional dependency to improve efficiency. Plotting functionalities are now in a separate package called GemPy Viewer. The package GemPy handles the API and documentation. There are some new features, including the implementation of octree refinement for computation and dual contouring as an alternative for marching cubes for mesh generation. Installation of GemPy into your environment is straightforward. Simply run pip install GemPy square brackets opt to install GemPy and the crucial dependencies. We strongly advise to also install PyVista using pip install PyVista for cool 3D visualization. For all further steps, you can either follow this video series or jump directly into the documentation page, where you will find additional content including tutorials and examples. As an open source project, all GemPy source code is available on GitHub and you can look transparently into every part of it. This does also mean that some things may not work as intended or expected. The GemPy GitHub page is the best place to get involved. You can report bugs or request features by submitting an issue, ask questions on the discussion page, or even contribute to the project by creating a pull request with your own code. We hope you liked this video and look forward to the tutorial series. If so, leave a like on this video or maybe even stop by GitHub and grant GemPy a star rating. We truly appreciate it. Are there any topics you would like us to cover? Make sure to leave a comment. By subscribing, you make sure to miss no informative GemPy videos in the future. See you in the next video.